Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, I run and operate a 3D print farm consisting of over 140 3D printers, uh, mainly Bamboo Lab 3D printers. I have a um, quite, I have uh, a mix between the Bamboo Lab P1P, the Bamboo Lab P1S, the X1 Carbon, and the A1 Combo 3D printers, as you can see behind me. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna go over my thoughts on which printer I think is the best uh, use case for my scenario. Um, obviously what I'm using for uh, my print farm may vary uh, vastly depending on uh, your needs and what you need, um, but let's get right into it. So I'm not sure of the exact number of printers in terms of the breakdown, but um, as you can see, these are all P1P printers. Um, we have exactly three X1 carbon printers, uh, two of them over here and one of them was on the back wall over there. So three X1 carbon printers, we have about uh, 15 P1S printers. Uh, they're here and again, along my back wall. And then we have probably around 60 or so Bamboo Lab P1P printers, which are the stripped down version of the P1S printers. So they look like this. They do not have any uh, side or uh, top or front panels. It's just kind of a stripped down version of the P1P. Um, you'll see some of these have the AMS on them. I just recently got these. Some of them do not. And then we have about 60 or so uh, Bamboo Lab A1 combo printers, which are all of these printers you'll see here in the middle here. Um, the Bamboo Lab A1 combo printers come with, well, they don't come with the AMS, but you can choose to either get the standalone printer uh, or you can get it with the AMS light. So this is the AMS light unit here, which allows you to print up to four colors um, with the uh, Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. So uh, that is my current setup and I'm gonna be expanding the print farm in a couple of weeks. And my plan right now is to <coughs> expand the print farm with more Bamboo Lab A1 combo printers. And basically this is the reason why. Uh, for me in my situation, right, I'm trying to build a print farm. So I am very uh, conscious about the price of the 3D printer. Um, as well as the functionality and what the 3D printer can can do for me in my business. So as of recording, the A1 combo printer currently is $489, uh, whereas the Bamboo Lab, uh, let's say P1S th combo printer um, is $799. I believe it's $799 for the combo, which includes the AMS. So we're kind of going to compare those two uh, options because I don't think it makes sense to compare the A1 combo 3D printer with the AMS to a P1S that does not come with the AMS. So if you look at just the price difference, $489 compared to $799, um, you're looking at almost double in terms of price. Um, it's not an exact double, but almost double. And why price matters so much is because if you're trying to get, you know, 50 to 100 3D printers, um, and you compare the pricing of getting 50, oh, let's just say 100 3D printers, and you compare it between 100 A1 combo printers and 100 P1S combo printers. I'll put the math on the screen somewhere here. You can kind of see how much of a difference in terms of pricing you're looking at um, if you're trying to get to a print farm that has a significant amount of 3D printers. And one of the, also one of the biggest factors for me is I only print in PLA. So all of this plastic here, this is all PLA plastic. I do not print with any other plastic. I don't print with ASA, uh, ABS, TPU. I'll do occasional prints with PETG here and there, but for the most part, uh, I would say 99% of everything that I print is in PLA. So I do not need an enclosure. Um, as you can see, these were all P1S printers. Uh, where I removed the front uh, glass panels off of all of these. And I removed them, one, because you don't really need an enclosure with PLA. They actually suggest that you, you know, leave the door open a little bit when printing in PLA. Uh, secondly, it was more of, a, more of a safety issue. You know, if I had, um, if I was changing out the, the printer here, I would open the panel and then sometimes I'd crouch down to, to do these other ones down here. And sometimes as I come up, I would hit my head on the open panel. So. I just removed them for safety reasons as well. And one of the other things I like with the A1 
combo and the AMS light is that the AMS light can handle a little bit more variety of spools. So, you know, cardboard spools typically don't work really well in the regular AMS, but in the AMS light, there's, it's no problem. Um, it'll handle other types of rolls as well. And again, one of the other factors that you can compare is the print speed and the print quality. Now, I have over 3,000 hours on my A1 printers over here. These are my original A1 printers. Uh, on my P1P printers, I have about um, 7,000 hours on one of them. Um, I forgot the exact amount, but close to 7,000 hours. And then also on my X1 Carbon, we have a significant amount of print time as well, almost 7,000 hours on that as well. Um, and what I will say is that, yes, the printing speed of a Core XY machine, like the P1S and the P1P and the X1 Carbon printers, they are faster than the Betzlinger 3D printers like the A1 uh, combo printers here. So Betzlingers just mean that the bed moves back and forth like this. And then the Core XY is, um, are basically uh, printers that print and, and the Z-axis moves down. Um, so I will say that the print quality and the speed is a little bit better on the Core XY machines. Um, I think I can safely say that after many hours of printing. Um, however, for my case, my use case scenario, uh, the print speed doesn't really factor too much into my decision because when you have multiple, you know, tens and, and 50 and 130 printers, uh, the time for you to print something kind of shrinks down. Um, time, become less, time becomes less of a factor when you're factoring in, um, you know, uh, things you want to print. Also, I really do like the uh, quick nozzle change that you can do. You know, you just pull this off, take off the, the sock, you can pop out the nozzle, pop in a new one. Uh, switching nozzles on these is fairly simple and quick compared to the P1P and the P1S printers. Uh, so that's another plus that I like about the A1 combo printers as well. All right, and finally, I think the number one biggest thing that I prefer the A1 over the P1S is the fact that the A1 comes with a touchscreen and the P1S does not. And again, this might be unique to my situation because I have, a, I have over 130 printers here um, and I have people who work on my team that come in and reset the printers uh, on a daily basis. Um, having a touchscreen and being able to see sort of uh, the files that are on here, uh, not only be able, being able to see the files that are on here uh, in terms of like the, uh, an image of what it is, it also shows you the color, but also uh, changing the colors of the filament, uh, being able to do that on the touchscreen itself is a huge time saver. For instance, if I wanted to change the, the colors on the P1S printers and the AM, with the AMS machines, uh, I would have to go into my Bamboo Handy app and change the colors from there or on my desktop. And unfortunately, Bamboo Lab does not allow you to have multiple users on one Bamboo Studio account. So for instance, I am the master account holder. Um, Evan and Chris, who are part of my team, don't have access to that. So whenever they change the colors, they kind of have to tell me what colors are in the slots. I have to go into my app and change the colors of the slots. Um, so it's kind of annoying. I wish that they would come out with an up, like I wish Bamboo Labs themselves would come out with an upgrade that allows you to upgrade the touchscreen to a, a sorry, the, the screen to a touchscreen uh, interface similar to what they have with the A1. Um, that is probably my biggest gripe and one of my biggest uh, issues between having a P1S and an A1 um, in terms of uh, a print farm environment. Now printing in single color, obviously you don't really have that. So like the P1Ps for instance, right? Single color, uh, you don't need to really worry about um, the color, you just load the color and then you, you kind of have to just know what file you are printing and making sure that the, the color is the correct one that you're trying to print. If I were able to go back in time and restart my print farm from day one, I would definitely get the A1 Combo 3D printer over any other of Bamboo Labs 3D printers over the P1S, P1P, X1 Carbon. If I were to get a small print farm, let's say five to 10 3D printers, I would probably get all X1 Carbons. Uh, X1 Carbons are amazing machines. They are overkill for what they do, but you get every dollar that you pay for them. Uh, I think there are still I think they're still the best individual 3D printer that you can find on the market. 
who knows what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks uh, when Bamboo Labs announces their new flagship 3D printer in Q1. We'll see. But for now, like I said, if I were to restart everything, I would get a fleet of Bamboo Lab A1 combo printers. That way I can source all of my spare parts and have spare parts for just one model of 3D printer. So down here is our spare parts area. And we have it separated by uh, the P-Series. Oh, we're actually out of P-Series hot ends. A1s, and then some of these are all just a mix between A1 stuff and P-Series printers. So a lot of these are the extruder gear, filament sensors for the A1 and for the P1P. So uh, we have to keep both of the spare parts on hand because we have two different types of models that we primarily print with. But like I said, I would definitely get the A1 combo printer over the P1 P and P1S if you're only primarily printing with PLA and you want to print in multicolor and you do not need an enclosure. I, I can't speak highly enough of these 3D printers. All right guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, maybe you prefer a different model of Bamboo Lab 3D printer for your print farm. Uh, let me know why that is. Uh, let me know why you think maybe the Bamboo Lab A1 combo is the best uh, printer for a 3D print farm environment or why it's not. Um, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys in the next video.